The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to set up a spawner in a custom Unity editor window, how to spawn objects in a random position, and then how to detect whether a newly spawned object is going to collide with any other objects. So to start within an editor folder, a folder called editor, create a new c -sharp script, open it up, Delete everything inside the class, add a using at the top for using Unity Editor, and then change mono behavior to editor window. Show the window via public static void, call the function show window. Then the class name spawner, w for window equals spawner, get window type of spawner. And I'll set the min size of the window to be new vector 2, 250 by 50. And I'll also set the max size to be a new vector 2, 250 by 50. Then I'll add a menu item at the top. So we can find our newly created window. Save that. Go back to Unity. Go to Window on the toolbar, Spawner. And there's the empty window. Create a new function, private void on GUI, in order to populate that new window, and say if create a button. So if GUI layout dot button, call that button spawn objects. And if that button's clicked, we're actually going to set up another function to call there. Call private void. Let's call it spawn objects and go back up to the if statement and call spawn objects. So now if the button's clicked, spawn objects is called and then within spawn objects we're going to set up a vector 3 for the spawn position. Actually first let's set up the number of objects that we want to spawn. So we'll create a for loop, int i equals 0, i less than 100, i plus plus. So for 100 iterations, we're going to try to spawn 100 objects. We're going to set up a float for the x position equals unity engine dot random dot range. And set that range to negative 500 to 500. I'm going to copy that, paste it two more times, and then change x to y and x to z. Now we're going to set up a new vector 3, call it spawn position or spawn pos equals new vector 3, and then the values will be x pos, y pos, and z pos. And that'll generate a random spawn position in that range. So now that we have that set up, we'll actually create a new function for detecting the number of collisions for a newly spawned object. So private int find collisions, pass in a vector3 POS or POS. Then we're going to set up, it's called a collider, it would be an array, call it hits equals physics dot overlap sphere pos, and then actually if I go and select the object that I want to spawn in, I've given it a scale of 50 on the x and z, so I'm going to set up 50, and then return hits dot length. So return the number of hits or the number of collisions that's been found. So if find collisions spawn position, so that random position is less than one. So if we find no collisions, then game object call it C equals typecast it to game object, instantiate resources dot load. And this is how we're going to 
actually spawn the objects. So spawns slash custom underscore shape. Spawn position, that random spawn position, and then quaternion.identity. So now we can save that, go back to Unity, and then if you want to know how I got the file path, if I go down to my resources folder, then within spawns, you have that custom underscore shape object. If I hit spawn objects, I have a bunch of spawned objects within that range. I can click it again and again and again. Now this is not creating a hundred each time because if there isn't, if there's collisions, then it's skipping over that instantiate. And that's it.